That depends on you. But you can change it. Because guess what? If they keep coming back saying, no, man, let's go smoke some crap, and you keep saying no, they ain't gonna come back no more. They realize they found another sucker that they can go to who will come and smoke crap with them. Amen. So guess what will happen to your finances and money now? Whether it's welfare, a gift, a blessing, it begins to pile up. Amen. Now you got some money because you didn't go through. And look. Because the moment you run out of money, they won't betray you. Hello. <laughs> Thoughts, but for a spirit. 
spiritual replacement thought. Are we going to learn how to use the spiritual replacement thought? Yes. I'm going to read this last paragraph and we're going to come to a close and we're going to pray a little bit. Is that all right, Tom? Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Forgiveness and healing have been associated since the beginning of sin. The promise to ancient Israel by God was that if they would humble themselves and pray, seek my face and correct their mistakes, then will I hear and forgive and heal their land. That's 1 Chronicles 7, 14, famous scripture. It was the master healer, Jesus, who placed in our minds the power and importance of forgiveness and self healing He taught us to pray. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debt to us. Amen? Amen. He further taught, for if, for if you forgive men their trespasses or mistakes, then your heavenly Father will also forgive you yours. Matthew 6, 12, 14. When you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive them that your Father in heaven may also forgive you. Mark 11, 25. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Luke 7, 37. In Jesus' dying moments, in Jesus' dying moments, among his last words, in reference to his enemies' words, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Luke 23, 34. By confirming your belief in God, each other, and affirming and concluding family goals and missions, you can get on track and become equally yoked together in many confessing, correcting, and forgiving by this type of working on the things that have gone wrong. You are building right paths for strong and lasting relationships. Who want their relationships back? Amen. 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 Who want their families back? Amen. Who have a daughter that hasn't called them or a son who hasn't spoken? A father or a mother who refuses to call? You want to admit it? Take the first step and call. Amen. Take the first step and admit to them you've been wrong. Take the first step. And this ain't a 12-step program, people. This is a God-step program. And you watch God step closer to you when you take the first step closer to him in the act of forgiveness. Amen? Amen. Let us all pray. Repeat that to me. Say, Father, Father I, forgive I forgive my betrayal. I forgive, I forgive my family. My family. I, forgive I forgive my friends, my, my co-workers, my, my Christian brothers and sisters. So Father, forgive me. Strengthen me. Help me to not walk in the night. I love you, Lord. And I thank you for this gift of loving me. And repeat this for those who are not born again. And if you want to be born again, say this. Father, Father in the name of Jesus, name I'm, a I'm a sinner. Forgive me Forgive for sin. For I confess with my mouth, I with my mouth the, Lord the Lord Jesus. And believe in my heart, in my heart that, God that God has raised him from the dead. Raised from raised from the dead. And I am saved. And I am saved. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord, for saving me. For saving me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Amen.